Okay, welcome back. Uh, it's been about 10-15 minutes. We bring the soup to a rolling boil. At this point, you could take out your shiitakes and cut them if you like get smaller pieces. But I'm, I'm going for more a rustic soup or a stew. So I'm going to keep it whole and just maybe serve one mushroom per person. Um, it's totally up to you. Now you add your your seaweed. Make sure it's you know it's it's nice and open. It's not dry anymore. Add it with the liquid. That's gonna give it the really good miso flavor. And check your eggplant. See how it is. It's looking pretty good. Soft, color is brown. I'm not adding a lot of uh, seaweed this time because I have uh, so many other vegetables. And if you, if that's the only vegetable, leafy vegetable you have in the soup, then you've got plenty more. Bring it to rolling boil again. Okay. Now I have to describe, uh, explain miso. Miso comes in four different flavors. Usually it goes by color. There's white, there's the regular, there's the red, and there's mixed. I'm using the red type, it's more fermented, it works like uh, green tea, white tea, black tea, basically the longer you ferment it, the more rich the flavor is, the more uh, complex. So if you like your miso to be served with other dishes and you don't want it to be taken, you know, you don't want the flavor to dominate, then uh, use white miso. But I'm going to be serving this on itself as a meal, so I'm using red miso. Um, there's no measurements to for how much miso you should add. Uh, the best way to do it is to just taste it after you add it, mix it well. Um, in Japan they have special miso spoons that mix it well. I, I'm not going to be using this, I'm just going to be using a regular wooden spoon. Um, also I know that in Japan the, the housewives mix their own miso their own miso kind of like combination, they mix red and white depending on how they like it. Um, I'm not gonna do that right now. Everything looks pretty good. Everything is cooked. At this point you can add the miso. I think uh, Four tablespoons is fine. Miso stays maybe six months to a year in the refrigerator. It doesn't really go bad. So fermented, anything fermented generally stays good. Now miso burns really, really fast. So I would put the flame on low and continue mixing until you can't, until you mix all the miso.
mix it well. Make sure that you don't have pieces of miso floating on the bottom. That would be really odd to get in your soup. At this point, you just the best way to cook this dish is just to taste it and see. I, this could definitely use more miso. Another good half a scoop. scoop. Some people add soy sauce to their miso. I I like the flavor of soy sauce, so I, w I will add a little bit. But if you're cooking white miso, um, I don't think that's a good idea. It's going to turn the soup brown. So maybe one tablespoon is enough. It's a really powerful flavor. You don't need to add a lot of it. Turn of the soup. It's a good idea to taste it again. And uh, right before you serve it, you cut your green scallions. And the way I cut it is the whites. I like to make it into circles. As small as you could. You could cut it. Don't try to make it even. It doesn't matter. Now when you get to the to the green parts, I like to cut it on the bias. This makes it more interesting to eat. Also, don't worry too much about the size. Now when you cut, make sure you keep your fingers back, like a tiger cut. And uh, grab your knife and wrap your two fingers around the base of it. Because if you hold it like this, it's going to be wobbling a lot. You're going to cut yourself. So hold your knife firmly. You have full control of it. Grab your food. Bring your fingers back. Press it down and cut. That's the basics of any good cutting skills. Never cook your scallions. They, they have a very uh, weak flavor, and uh, if you add them in the beginning, they're just gonna, you're just never going to taste it in your soup. So always add it at the end of your time. And voila! You have a miso. Each miso is going to come out different, slightly different. It's always going to be good. Uh, probably one of the most healthiest things you could eat.